Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to dive into a topic that may ruffle a few feathers. Gran Canaria has its charms travel destination and is loved by many tourists. Now, don't get us wrong, but we believe there are some aspects that are often overlooked, leading to its overrated reputation. So let's jump right in. The truth about visiting Gran Canaria in 2023. Let's get started. Before we start, please leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more travel adventures. Tourists crowds in Gran Canaria. One of the main reasons Gran Canaria can feel overrated is the crowds. It's no secret that this beautiful island attracts a large number of tourists all year round. This popularity means that some of the most famous spots, like Maspalomas Dunes or Puerto de Mogan, can get extremely crowded, making it challenging to fully enjoy the experience. If you prefer a more secluded and tranquil vacation, you might find yourself disappointed with the bustling atmosphere. Gran Canaria's weather is appealing year-round, making it an attractive destination for tourists seeking an escape from colder climates. However, this also means that there isn't a significant off-season and crowds persist throughout the year. Peak times, such as school holidays, Christmas, and summer vacations, see an even more substantial influx of tourists, exacerbating the issue of overcrowding. Gran Canaria's The Rise in Prices Gran Canaria's popularity has also led to an increase in prices, especially in tourist areas. Accommodations, restaurants, and activities often come with a premium price tag. If you're traveling on a budget, you might find it challenging to enjoy the island to its fullest without breaking the bank. With other more affordable destinations available, this aspect can be a turnoff for many travelers. The rise in prices is a natural consequence of high demand in a popular tourist destination like Gran Canaria. While this can make it challenging for budget travelers, it's essential to plan and research in advance to find more affordable options and make the most of your experience on the island. Commercialization of Gran Canaria Unfortunately, the commercialization of some areas in Gran Canaria has diminished the authentic charm of the island. Once quaint fishing villages have been transformed into tourist traps, with countless souvenir shops and overpriced restaurants catering more to tourists than to locals. This commercialization can make it difficult to experience the genuine culture and traditions of the island. It's essential to recognize that not all areas of Gran Canaria are affected by commercialization in the same way. The island still offers pockets of authentic charm, where visitors can experience genuine local culture and traditions. Loss of Authenticity The Island Linked to the previous point, the overwhelming tourist presence has led to a certain loss of authenticity on the island. Many of the activities and experiences available are designed with tourists in mind, and it can be tough to find truly authentic local experiences. If you're seeking an immersive cultural trip, you might find yourself disappointed by the lack of opportunities to connect with the true spirit of Gran Canaria. It's important to note that not all areas of Gran Canaria are equally affected by this phenomenon. Exploring less touristed regions and engaging with local communities can provide travelers with a more authentic and enriching experience. Climate of Gran Canaria While Gran Canaria is known for its pleasant climate, it's essential to note that the weather can be quite variable, especially in the winter months. While the south of the island tends to be warmer and sunnier, the northern parts often experience more rainfall and cooler temperatures. This variability might not suit everyone, especially those expecting consistent tropical weather throughout the year. While Gran Canaria's climate is generally mild and pleasant, it's essential to consider the variable weather patterns, especially during the winter months. Packing layers and planning for both sunny and rainy days will ensure you're prepared for any surprises that the island's microclimates may have in store. Regardless of the weather, Gran Canaria offers a wealth of attractions and activities, making it a fantastic year-round travel destination. Environmental Challenges of Gran Canaria With the influx of tourists, Gran Canaria faces significant environmental challenges. The island's natural beauty is at risk due to increased development, waste generation, and strain on local resources. 
Efforts to preserve the fragile ecosystems have been made, but the sheer number of visitors makes it difficult to manage the impact sustainably. To address these environmental challenges, sustainable tourism practices are crucial. Initiatives focused on reducing waste, promoting energy efficiency, implementing responsible water management, and protecting sensitive natural areas are essential steps towards mitigating the negative impacts of tourism. Collaboration between the government, local communities, and the tourism industry is necessary to ensure the long-term preservation of Grand Canaria's natural beauty. By promoting responsible tourism, visitors can play a role in protecting the environment and helping Grand Canaria remain a cherished destination for generations to come. Beaches of Grand Canaria While the beaches in Grand Canaria are undeniably stunning, some of the most famous ones have become over-commercialized. Rounds of sun loungers and umbrellas often cover the sandy shores, and the beachside bars and restaurants can take away from the pristine beauty of the coastline. If you're looking for a more untouched beach experience, you might want to venture off the beaten path. To strike a balance, it's essential for local authorities and stakeholders to implement sustainable tourism practices that preserve the natural beauty of the beaches while still providing necessary services for visitors. Additionally, travelers can contribute to responsible tourism by being mindful of their impact, respecting the environment, and supporting local businesses that promote sustainable practices. Language Barrier While many locals in tourist areas speak English, if you venture away from the main hotspots, you might encounter a significant language barrier. Spanish is the predominant language on the island, and if you don't speak it, navigating everyday interactions and experiences can be challenging, leading to potential frustration. English is undoubtedly a helpful language to know when traveling to Gran Canaria, especially in touristed areas. However, embracing the local language and culture can enhance your travel experience and foster a deeper connection with the island and its people. Engaging in cultural exchanges and interactions beyond the tourist centers can lead to more meaningful experiences during your stay on Gran Canaria. Gran Canaria's Public Transportation System Gran Canaria's public transportation system isn't as comprehensive as one might hope. While there are buses connecting major towns and tourist spots, the frequency might not be sufficient for some travelers, especially those wanting to explore the island extensively. Renting a car is often recommended, but it adds an extra expense and might not be feasible for everyone. While Gran Canaria does have a public transportation system, it may not offer the same level of convenience and coverage as in larger urban areas. For travelers who prefer more flexibility and the ability to explore off the beaten path destinations, renting a car can be a more practical option. However, if you're staying primarily in touristed areas or major towns, using public transportation can still be a viable and cost-effective way to get around the island. One reason Gran Canaria might feel overrated is that there are so many other incredible travel destinations out there. With numerous beautiful islands, beach paradises, and cultural hotspots around the world, some travelers might find themselves underwhelmed when comparing their experiences in Gran Canaria to other places they visited. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting travel content.